Okay, this is my first attempt using the scanner and scanning the uh, front of the dashboard so I can do some 3D printed pieces to fit in a new uh, a new stereo system, possibly some Carduino stuff or uh, car Raspberry Pi stuff. So I'm gonna try to do at least half of it, and then I'll try to get the inside where the attachment points are the current stereo system is so I can at least have some attach points without damaging the front of the dash. So, we'll, uh, we'll see how this works out. And this is the first scan. Looks pretty good actually. Um, it's, it's picking up everything I want and then what I can do is I can slide this down and then I'll slide that down on that track and I'll have the same distance from the front um, at the right focal distance and then when I need to I'll flip that this underneath here in another oops, another shot um, and then I'll get the underside and hopefully it won't freak out when it goes upside down so this, uh, this little scanner this Einstein uh, Einscan uh, S is actually doing really well I like it a lot so while this is running, quick review on the Ionscan S by Shining 3D. Um, this thing probably costs more than a thousand, probably around a thousand dollars. I was on the Kickstarter program and it was about 850. And it's a white light based projector uh, scanner with two cameras, so it's stereo uh, machine vision. So you got the two two different cameras here and here. Um, it scans the object. You can do low res, high res, and of course a medium res. Uh, you can do color. You can do uh, black and white, uh, dark, medium, and light light based. Uh, that's all based on what what kind of thing you're scanning. So like for this this truck right here, the uh, the dashboard's black. Um, it's a dark scan, and you can actually take uh, which you can kind of see from here. You can take baby powder or any powder sort of sprinkle over the top for any hard to see things um even sort of like clear glass as long as the, the film is on pretty tight uh it'll, it'll pick up on it um but this is a little different from the matter and form and the maker bot in that it's got a turntable uh but they're separate uh this the head unit actually can take off and you can go into uh, freestanding mode which i think you can scan like a three foot tall statue. Um, you can turn it around, you can do whatever you want. But what people on the forums, which there is a forum, and it's a very nice customer service, uh, we've been all finding out that you can scan a lot more than what they're suggesting. Uh, they do have built in warnings just in case, you know, the object is really, really heavy um, in memory and processing, um, but you can go past it. And you can scan like this whole dashboard on this uh, Dodge Dakota 2004. Um, that's that just that just sells me right there. Um, I mean, it, it's a little difficult to pick up on scanning. It's very different. Um, there, I mean, there's there's of course other systems that just take pictures and you can you know splice them together. But at 0.1 millimeter accuracy. Uh, which that's the best it can do. Of course, I'm scanning at a medium resolution because I, I don't want this file to be super huge. Uh, even a small thing can get up to a gig based on how high res you're doing because this is all point cloud based. Um, it, it does it does very well. Um, I'm super impressed, and <laughs> that's saying something considering the country of origin. Not not to knock down, you know. Shining 3D is just, I had some previous notions coming into this thinking, oh, you know, it's not going to be well, well made, you know, it's going to be fast mass produced. Um, I, I've taken a look underneath the hood of the, the scanning head and of, and the turntable and they, they use good components. I mean, very, very good components. Um, the crazy part is <laughs> this thing is so so nice and the, the software so robust and adaptable you can actually use a different projector for that uh, of course you have to like mess with the settings 
but you can use a different projector and I'm assuming you can probably use different cameras because uh, on the inside it's uh, it's very replaceable um, there's USB jacks for the cameras and then the, uh, the turntable is geared so you can probably do some reductions on that if you want a slower slower paced turntable which there's probably settings in the software you just have to find it they're all text-based uh, calibrations um, but I mean for what this is doing right now I couldn't do this on a laser based system even though that I mean they're all constrained to the turntable but this thing is this is awesome um, I've been 3d printing for about three years making drones for about three or four years I think now and this scanner has just made made things a lot things more possible than I would have imagined beforehand. Um, of course, I'm trying to learn tips and tricks like these little dots right here. These are these are markers, so it can pick up on things if if the alignment, the auto alignment isn't um, great uh, over you know long stretches of just bland stuff. It'll think it's overlapping on top of each other. You can use these markers to sort of differentiate the scans because I mean they're that's not the same dot as that one over there so it'll figure out oh i just need to stitch these things together based on the dots um which you know for for the price it, it might shock some people and it might deter some people but i mean if i can scan dashboards of cars for <laughs> based on the trailer they showed you weren't able to do that um just imagine what else you can do. I've seen people uh, scan large car parts and find out that they're casting, um, which that they're on the forums. You can see their their videos and pictures. Um, you can see that their casting isn't perfect, which is interesting. And I'm noticing in some of my scans right now that there are some dips in the plastic, some some things that I wouldn't have seen beforehand. Um, not of course that dip right there, but. Little little blemishes that you wouldn't have otherwise thought. Uh, but now I can take this and I can make car stereo adapters or giant LCD displays like on Teslas and stuff. So this this is a very very good tool uh, for a maker or a reverse engineer or someone who wants to adapt things without you know having to cut out this entire thing. I can I can print something on the, over the top of this and make a nice adapter. So uh, the Einscan S, it's a little pricey, but you know you, you get a lot more than what you pay for, um, and that's that's saying something. So even though I'm using an older software, uh, it's actually very touch friendly. This is a uh, well half of an Acer Iconia, which is a double touchscreen laptop. And luckily, they make all the buttons big enough so that, you know, I could, like, spin this around or zoom in and out if I wanted to. Um, probably need a faster processor. But for now, this is actually working pretty good without needing a mouse. Um, it's got all the, the plugs that I need. I'm not using a turntable right now. This is actually freestanding mode. Um, so hit next. And take that. It's going to align it perfectly with the other one. Perfect. Also, I want to give out props to uh, Open Build. Uh, these guys make these extruded pieces, and you can make pretty much whatever you want to with this. And what's nice is I built this this rail system. It would have been nice if I could motorize it, which you can. They have kits out there you can. And um, the cool part is I can scan over the top, which you saw in the previous part of this, uh, but then I could flip it over, and it's right there, I mean, it's, it's scanning upside down, and it's still scanning underneath the area that I need it to, so this is a really nice little camera rig, which it doesn't have to be for scanning, I mean, you can make it for DSLRs and stuff, 